you probably know I've been in real estate since 1981. That's a long time. And you would think that I would get tired of talking about real estate, but I never do because there's always something new and exciting. Well, this is one of those houses that we don't get very often. This is an architect's house. It is multi-generational. It's got a full walkout basement that's got an office, junior master ensuite bath, a big living room. And then upstairs, it has tons and tons of room, 19 acres. In fact, if you need a little bit more, there's another three acre tract right there that's available that conjoins. And if you're like me, you probably would like to buy that to kind of control what's going on. As you can see from this footage here, the outdoor spaces make this house. There's an outdoor fireplace patio. There's a poolside pavilion. These people live outside as much as possible. In the winter months, they live in the family room and you can see why. It's just one of my favorite rooms. If your family loves being outdoors, this house offers a ton. This house feels like home on the outside as much as it does inside. It's nice watching your children ride horses in the fields while sitting by the outdoor fireplace. It's a peaceful place and easily an entertaining house. So there's municipal water out here, of course. We have municipal water everywhere in this county, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, you're just two or three miles from town. I'm going to put it down here. That water line runs straight up this driveway right to this manhole. And then from the manhole, it splits off. So one line goes to the house and one line goes to the barn. From the barn, another line goes out to another barn and then this other barn here. There's two run-in sheds. That one's got water and power. There's 100 amp service down there. They were planning on building a bigger barn so you could do that just lickety split or whatever you need the power for. You could do an artist studio or whatever down there. And then I'll show you the other run-in shed. It's got water as well. And this is interesting. I'm going to show you the barn first, which is kind of odd, but I'm going to show it to you. Let's do it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. You'll get a notification on your phone every time I upload a new video. The uh, architect just put this new epoxy on here. I can't remember what it's called, Quick Seal or something. You can get it in any color you want, and he got it to match the house. I think it looks sharp, and it's inside in the garage as well. Check out that barn. Isn't that beautiful? 30 by 50. It's got four horse stalls, and it's got a dog kennel in there, and it's got a couple other features. I'm going to show it to you. Plus, it's got 200 amp service and a fully concreted floor. See that other running shed way out there? And then there's water right here at that in that field. And then there's water and power right there, 100 amp service at that uh, run-in shed. And everything comes off of right here. So this, remember that water line? That I was telling you about back there with the manhole that comes over here all these valves turn on all those things so you can shut main water off to all the horses or you can just shut off that running shed that running shed or in here once you come in here you've got a frost proof hydrant that comes up the white one come goes to the washing machine the black one goes to the slop sink the green one where's the green one go green one goes to the slop sink and then this one here goes to the regular hose so you're decked out you, know, you got four different things going on he says it doesn't freeze but you can shut it off as well here and you know how frost proof hydrant works right you just shut it here and that foot valve drains all the way down into the ground and then you turn it on it comes up so that water is actually coming up four or five feet from the ground and then you shut this off and then boom it, it drains all the way down 200 amp service, which is right here, it is its own service. This service here actually takes care of the pool as well. So I'm gonna show that to you later. It's got its own meter. But 200 amp service is enough to run anybody's house. I mean, that's a lot of service. And then there's plenty of room in here for all your toys. Zero turn, four wheelers, golf carts, tractors, that sort of thing. And then a great dog kennel. Let me see if I can go around back and show you. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you the horse. I'm going to show you the horse stalls back here. Now the lighting is going to be a little wonky because it's that time of day. But you get the idea. These are really nice stalls. Pick that up and go. That one won't work. Right, let's try this one over here. 
It's hard holding the camera and doing this all at the same time. There you go. This one works just fine. And then all the rubber mats there and the feeders and that sort of thing. And then you got this guy like this. Put the hay in there. This makes the horses polite so they're not clawing at you. And then you put the stuff in, close it up, they eat, you're good to go. I'm good to go. And check this out. Yep. How fun is that? That's probably what I would be doing with some of this too. Firewood. Nice and dry in this beautiful shed. These fields, what do you think? Yep. That's what I thought. There's that one shed that's the end of the property over there, the 19 acres. And then you've got this beautiful dry stack wall all the way along the back of the property line. Like the whole way. I'll put down how many how many lineal feet that is, but it's quite a few. I'm going to guess, I don't know, I'm out here, I'm going to guess 600, maybe 700 feet. Let's see how close I am and go to Google Earth and measure it for you. Now we're seeing the outside. Of course, the outside's important, but I know you want to see inside. So we're just going to go inside. I'm not going to go in the side, we're going in the front. Going in the real entrance. What do you think of that? This guy's an architect. If I brought you in the side door, he would kill me. I'm too young to die. So there's a lot of this sort of stuff up there. I don't know what that is. He's an architect. He's going to kill me for that too. I should know what that is. Terracing? I don't know. Trellising? Not terracing. How about that for an approach? Two or three miles to town, then you come up this long driveway. I think it's, is it 1,400 feet, 1,100 feet? I'll put it here. Come right on up into your garage. And how about your guests? They come right up here, just fantastic. And a little quick little turnaround and they're out. Let's go on inside. First thing you'll notice is ice cold air which is the first thing I'm noticing on a hot, humid day like today. Feels wonderful inside. All this dark hardwood. I try to point out the stuff that you can't see. You can obviously see it's, see it's dark flooring. I want to make sure that you know it's nice hardwood floor. And we got tile here, granite here, stainless steel. It's what everybody wants. This little area here, you could have a, a breakfast area or whatever, but this is a beautiful place to sit. And then, of course, outside, you got a whole whole kitchen here, a whole barbecue area, and then the pavilion. I'm going to show you all that stuff later. We're going to go through the main house first. That's a fancy hood right there. And then this is out to the garage. There's that special stuff on the floor, that epoxy stuff. Neat as a pin. The house sparkles, it's spotless. You've probably seen the still photos already. So you've seen some of this, it's very beautiful. There's no doubt a designer or an architect or both live here. This is a second master on the first floor. Maybe you want to call it a junior master. It's not small. Jetted tub, walk-in shower, huge vanity. And then right on out to the breakfast deck or wine deck or whatever you want to call it out there. Very pretty. I'll show you that in a little bit. Might as well look at it right now. Come on, let's go out. So when I say junior master, it's almost not like a junior master, it's almost like a real master master, right? So second master, would you say? Let's get a little clear story window up there. Can lights, done well. Everything's specked out amazing. And it overlooks the fire pit. 
and there's a little on the other side there's a little shed and herb garden over there too and a little orchard they got a couple old trees and then this is the walkout part isn't that great so you got a basement there and then a drain and then right on out a little retaining wall sweet that's a pelador i just came through and everything else I believe is Anderson, or most of it is Anderson. The guy loves Anderson. What architect wouldn't love Anderson or Pella? Another bedroom here with, with a nice closet. Full bath. So you've got the, the second master, or the junior master, with an ensuite. And then you have this bathroom here, which is got a full tub. And then this is used as an office. Both these people are professionals. So you can never have too many office areas, right? And then this is that spot where we just were. See so with the little clear story up there? Well, let's back up here. This is this is kind of an important approach or line of sight. Look at this. And we go in an angle. He loves to do all these break it up kind of things. Break it up, stretch it out, put angles in. Master bedroom. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Right outside here. deck. I would venture to say there has been some coffee consumed on this deck. Especially morning coffee. Maybe some evening wine. There again is that fire pit. And that's what that area looks like from here. Oh yeah, there's been some coffee and tea consumed out here. camera with the right hand, right? Look how beautiful that is. These are very cool. We go into a house and if I told you, oh, a doctor lives there, how would you know? But when I bring you in here and I say, an architect lives here, an architect designed this house, an architect built this house for himself, there's no question. This to be a steam shower. Yep. Nice. We've had some beautiful showers lately, haven't we? It's so nice. That's the daylight coming through. Lots of can light. I hate to leave this room. I would like. You know, this is this is a serene room, serene colors. It's time to relax. It's time to go to bed. Show you this little half bath in here. All tile. I don't know if there's any carpet in the house at all. There's like some throw rugs, but I don't know if there's any carpet, which is nice. 
because it's so much cleaner. Dining room. And it's got a dry bar here. Now, would you like to see one of my favorite rooms in the whole White House? This goes right on outside. You wonder why people buy Anderson? That's why. That's what, 10 years old or so? Fireplace inside, fireplace outside. So this is for the fall and the winter, and this is for the fall and the winter. Oh, I guess if you're like me, you just like fireplaces. <laughs> so you can have a fire. Any excuse to sit down by the fire, glass of wine. Good times. That's what we do as a family. Just hang out, chill together. Okay, it's time for me to grab a little water and then we're gonna go downstairs. Let's go on downstairs. First thing you're gonna notice is a five foot wide staircase. Why? Because you can. And then the boom boom couch down here in the boom boom room. Have you ever seen a couch this big before? Anyway, I like to break his chops about the couch. It's beautiful. It's really high quality leather and it's green, lime green. Okay, no more comments. So when we were putting an addition on our house, my son says, I am not living in the basement that I'm not, I'm just not. So our architect here said, uh, just bring him over to my place. I guess his kids had similar thoughts or whatever preconceived notions. So I brought Hunter down here and he goes, oh, okay, no, I'm good. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, I'm fine. We'll do it. <laughs> so, so they have, uh, we put our addition on and we did a walkout basement just like this. So the kids got their own pad down here and they can come and go as they please. This is all solid up here. So you've got dry areas here. And uh, anyway, it's just wonderful. He's got this beautiful French drain or I don't know what you call it. Is it a gutter drain or whatever? And then it, it gets daylighted out with, uh, with piping. So we talk about this as multi-generational. Yeah, this is multi-generational. Yeah. Can you imagine maybe a mother-in-law or maybe uh, your weird Uncle Harold, maybe your teen kids, maybe your boomerang kids. Let me just open this up. You got that. Maybe, maybe you got boomerang kids. This could be their own place. Close the doors, pocket doors. Beautiful. Everything works wonderful. Lots of closets, heat and air, of course. And I love these guys, don't you? They keep. So the way I lay it out is you got the main master, the Serenity Room. You got the second master up there, and then you've got this junior master suite down here. Almost 6,000 usable square feet by the time you're all done. 59, 28 or something like that. I'll put it here. And then this is the laundry. And it's got the mop sink over there. HVAC room. Train. Nothing stops the train. Good stuff. More storage, lots more storage. This house keeps going on and on and on. Weight room, storage, clean, dry, heated, air conditioned, intercom system. 
really key for a big house. <laughs> and then home office with lots of storage here. And aren't those the coolest looking speakers? I love that. Of course, I like JBL anyway. But I think they're cool looking. There you go. Some people say happy man, happy family. Some people say happy wife, happy life. I say gorgeous home, happy life. Because then everybody's happy. Let's run outside. Not only is everybody happy, but the family comes around. And isn't that really what you want when you have a beautiful home? You want your family and friends to come. How you doing, guys? There's the outdoor fireplace. Your horse barn. You're going to love this outdoor area. This is just outdoor living. If you guys like to live outdoors, then this is the place for you. If you don't like to live outdoors, maybe you should try it. And a place like this is really going to give you the opportunity. Crystal clear. Little fountain. Really, there's not much maintenance to it, really. There really isn't. You come on down. If you have an interest in this property, give Ken a call. His phone number's right there. In keeping a pool like that, you always hear, oh, so much work with a pool. I don't think there's that much work. We've got a hot tub. It's not that big a deal. We check it once a week. Of course, you have pool services here, too, if you want to do that. You have somebody come out a couple times a month. You could convert to salt water. Then you have even less maintenance. Look at this. Can lights. Yep. Yeah, I got a little bromance going on with this house. I got a little thing going on. Absolutely. In fact, we've been talking about doing a pool and maybe a little pool house. Why would you do a little pool house when you could do a whole outdoor living area? You've got a sink, refrigerator, all the lighting, ceiling fans. You got the big green egg. You can cook absolutely anything on that. A little bar area. So what does this add to the value of a house? Well, if you had to go put this in, you got almost a hundred grand right here. And what it adds is quality of life. Right? The cool thing about having cool places is that all your kids friends now want to come over so now you know exactly where your kids are and they get to have pride in their house and uh, and then you don't have your kids running all around the countryside and you wonder where they are whose house they're at they're right here in the retaining wall here you see that absolutely beautiful here's some more of that wall I wanted to share with you get swing set back here here's the back of the house and remember, I was kind of teasing about this being some kind of hippie ritual thing. This is the daylighting of all those drain pipes. So isn't this beautiful? I mean, if you're going to have, that makes a statement. Okay, this has got to be 10, 12 feet wide and maybe 25 feet long. Something I actually forgot to talk about is the pavilion. It's stone here in the back, and you see the retaining wall. Real nice. Look at this. What I should do is fly right through here and show you what we got going on. Well, there you have it. Everything you ever wanted in a property you got one floor living, two masters on main, multi-generational, 19 acres. There's another three acres available if you need it or if you want the privacy. Fantastic rooms, amazing layout, 
you know, I don't want to do all the superlatives and hyperbole, but you can see it yourself. It's just a magnificent property. I think you'll agree. Just three miles to town, college town, and you got the horse barn and everything that your family wants. So a great place to raise kids, great place to retire. The expenses are very low, and this has a tax farm certificate. So that means a lot of tax benefits, a lot of uh, USDA benefits, um, FSA. I can explain all that stuff to you when you get here, or Ken can. Uh, we have a farm as well, and it makes a big difference. You get programs for helping for seeding and helping for taking out fence rows, and there's all kinds of incentives like that. You can plant native grasses in the front here if you wanted. That's an, that's an interesting program. Uh, FSA, I'll explain all that to you, or USDA. Ken can help you navigate those waters. If you love this house, give them a call. Phone number's right there. If you'd love to own this property, come on in for a site visit. We'll show you around. We'll show you how beautiful the area is. We'll show you how spectacular this property is. We'll show you how spectacular that road is, Goggin Lane. You want one of five of the top addresses where all the doctors and lawyers live and everything like the architects live. This is one of them. Absolutely beautiful. Give us a call. Thanks for watching. If this property is perfect for you, great. Subscribe down here. You should subscribe anyway. What the heck? I need somebody to watch these videos and get on our mailing list, our home finder. You tell us exactly what you want and we'll send you properties that meet your criteria. If it's not right for you, great. Tell all your friends. Maybe you got some friends who appreciate nice things. Send this property to them and get on our home finder, which I think you can click here. I don't know. They're changing things with uh, YouTube. And get on the home finder. It's bluegrassteam.com slash home finder. Tell us what you want. We'll send you properties that match your exact criteria. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao from Kentucky. I guess should you say ciao from Kentucky because ciao's like Italian. What do you say? See you soon, y'all, or come visit us, or y'all just come on in. Thank you. I appreciate you. You know I do. I want to thank you so much for watching, spending a lot of time with me today. I couldn't help myself. The aerials were just so beautiful. This property is so beautiful. I just had to show it all to you. If you're interested in this property, you're going to be watching it all the way to the end anyway. And I just want to thank you for that. I enjoyed spending time with you today. If you would love to own this property, just bring your checkbook. It's a great place to retire. The, 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 the. Is he ever going to stop talking? No. I wonder why he talks so much. I guess that's what he gets paid for. You think he'll stop? I don't know. His family says probably not. What do they say? Happy wife, happy life. How about gorgeous home, happy life? I believe in that one as well. Oh, there he goes. Running. <laughs> All right, retake. <laughs> <laughs> and then it looks like some other kind of a fire pity thing over there. Some kind of seance thing, some kind of freaky hippie thing. I don't know what it is. The aircraft carrier. It's time to relax. It's time to go to bed. It's time to enjoy your partner. That sounds a little sexy. You know what I mean. It's time to just live. Live together. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.